Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading with me. This is Brooke and welcome back to Nightbird Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your weekly reading for February 26th to March 4th. Please make sure to watch for your sun, moon, rising in this video. So Aquarius, we come in for the week with the High Priestess. Something is not revealing itself totally to Aquarius this week. You may feel that you intuitively know about something, psychically knowing of something. Your spidey psychic sense is really high this week. So really pay attention to gut instincts, to first impressions. You may even re look back on something and say, wow, I saw the signs or having prophetic dreams this week. So the high priestess is, is very much about knowing but not revealing all. There's an air of mystery about a certain situation for Aquarius this week. Something's connected to your past. We come in with the Six of Cups energy, and then we come in with Major Arcana, the Devil. The archetype for the Devil is Capricorn. You could be dealing with Capricorn energy. But something connected to your past that could very much be about uh, addiction, this could be about narcissistic relationships, this could even be something connected to the past with any type of depression or lower vibrational relationships, toxic relationships, that Aquarius is essentially looking at this week. It also could be validating to Aquarius that things from the past that deal with addiction, that deal with narcissistic type people, relationships, are rearing their ugly head for Aquarius because you've dealt with these patterns or you've dealt with these types of people or relationships before. They seem to be, they're telling me, a repeating pattern for Aquarius of some kind. This is kind of like the revolving door of the same type of person in your life or the same type of energy or the same type of relationship. It just shows up in a different body. It shows up in a different outfit. But it's the same type of relationship work or the same type of pattern that Aquarius is dealing with. This also could be dealing with something that's personal to you directed from the past, directed to this type of situation. Something has ended. We come in with Major Arcana death, and then we come in with the lovers. So something has ended for Aquarius with death. This also, also could be Scorpio, Scorpio archetype energies. The lovers very much is about Gemini archetype. But something has ended for Aquarius. And it's been one that was a great passionate relationship in the beginning for many. There was a great love there. But there was also, it seemed at times, to be a lot of choice, uh, either coming from the other person or coming from yourselves. So there's been a crossroads. When I see the lovers, very much tells me there's been a crossroads of some kind. So Aquarius now is at the crossroads. Something has ended, essentially something is now beginning. So whatever you have dealt with on a personal level, that could be very much stretched back to the past. Past addiction, past relationships that dealt with addiction, past abusive tendencies, style relationships, verbal, mental, emotional, physical. Something is cropping or rearing its ugly head again that Aquarius is focusing upon this week. Something's coming back for Aquarius or the focus on that for yourself growth for your self-healing this could be talked about or discussed in therapy so something's coming back that Aquarius is looking at to help you many of you now uh, are single we come in with the nine of Pentacles energy this is very much the solo card this is being financially stable financially independent there's a period of being solo. You may not be very happy about this. We come in with the Queen of Swords. This is potential air sign. This could be Aquarius yourselves. 
She's serious minded. This is typically known traditionally as the divorcee, the divorced woman. She's the widow. Uh, she's stoic. She's serious minded. Aquarius this week may not be feeling it uh, with such situ situ <laughs> situations, people. You're just not feeling it. You kind of permanently have, and you can see it in her face. You know the permanent resting bitch face, so to speak. You're you're accepting. You're embracing the fact that perhaps you are now alone or you're single for this for those this resonates for. But it's being accepted, but it's not bringing you joy. Obviously, it's kind of like okay, here we are, and so I'm going to have to really regroup and take a look at things and I'm at a crossroads and where am I going to go next and just really thinking about things being in a serious minded type of mode for Aquarius you at the same time because of this you need some rest you need a break you might need a retreat of some kind we come in with the four of swords energy and then we're also feeling stuck we come in with the eight of swords energy so there's a need for stepping back, okay, embracing the quiet, having a retreat mode of some kind, having a much needed break, a much needed rest from from everything. And at the same time, you feel kind of restricted anyway because you can't really do too much about anything except it's almost like a period of self solitude or self-retreat or self-reflection so Aquarius is very much taking time out for yourselves this week taking a break maybe catching up on much needed sleep with the four of swords energy and cocooning a little bit having a period of cocooning okay will not be a bad thing that might be what Aquarius needs for the week because your your surroundings or a bit restricted right now. Uh, things are a bit restricted for you. There also could be some sort of mental restriction going on. Maybe you can't get past this and you're very much ruminating things in your mind about a past situation, past relationship. This could even be in the most immediate past. Okay, so something with that. Something though is bubbling up for Aquarius that really is a much needed dream or a much needed want or a much needed desire or wish. We come in with the Nine of Cups energy. So Aquarius, even though uh, you're not getting all the information that you need with the High Priestess, something still remaining a mystery, you're going to ultimately get your wish possibly this week with something so manifestation is very high for you this week anything that you have wanted or desire has a great ability of coming or showing up for you there could be potentials to getting what you want there also could be potentials because of these things of overdoing it it's also a card of gluttony you know partying too much, drinking too much, smoking too much, doing things and spending too much money, doing things in excess. So just be aware of that. But Aquarius is going to find themselves getting what they want ultimately and entering into a period of rebirth of some kind. I pulled another card and we come in with judgment. So this tells me, especially going forward, in the next 20 months that you're going to have a period of rebirth it's the phoenix rising up out of its ashes it's an awakening it's a rebirth it's this phase this period of your life is eventually going to pass away and dissolve itself and there's a rebirth coming in there's a renewal period coming in for aquarius right now you're dealing with potential energies that perhaps you know, when you go from, let's say, one relationship to the next relationship, sometimes it's not very good. You're putting a Band-Aid on a certain behavior, and you may see that behavior show up in another person or that 
same type of relationship or same type of pattern may crop up again for you in the workplace and jobs and family situations and relationships. So Aquarius really needs to take time out for yourself this week and you may be a bit lost or confused about certain things but something is basically rearing its head uh, for you on some level but you're definitely at a crossroads. So good luck to you Aquarius. Keep me posted. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Check out my website below if you'd like to book a reading with me. Have a great week and I'll speak to you soon.